Chris Jones is a writer at large from Esquire. His piece is called The Flight from Dallas. Welcome. Thanks, Charlie. How many people were on the plane are still alive? Just a handful, four or five, as far as I could tell. Uh, and they're the source for what happened on the plane? Somewhat, but I also use, there's lots of original documents, there's new audio that surfaced, mm -hmm. recordings, and uh, there's all sorts of information out there. You just and have to what's dig. the most interesting thing you discovered? The whole flight for me is this fascinating thing. Uh, I mean, I really like the human element of it. For me, it's a way to take that story that's sort of big and almost abstract in some ways and narrow it down and make it more human. Mm -hmm. uh, something like Jackie sitting in the back of the plane right. the whole time with a casket yes. literally beside her. She's still covered in her husband's blood. Mm -hmm. I mean, just an amazing scene. That's what struck me about the, about the story, because at the end of the day, Jackie Kennedy lost her husband and the, the country lost a nation. And you captured the very human, raw, painful moments. For instance, right before the oath was, was taken, there was a lot of conversation whether Jackie Kennedy should be president when yeah. LBJ was sworn in. Because some people said, no, leave her alone, let her, let her be, and others said, no, she wants to be here. Talk about that exchange. Yeah, she was in the bedroom. Uh, she sort of retreated at that point. Ken O'Donnell, who's one of the Irish Mafia, one of Kennedy's principal guys, uh, was saying, no, you know, I'm not gonna go get her. And Johnson was saying she wants to be here. Johnson had talked to Jackie as soon as they boarded the plane. And uh, yeah, Johnson's like, no, she wants to be here. And it was important for Johnson to show some kind of seamlessness in this very abrupt transition. And she's covered in blood because she said, I don't want to change my clothes. She mm -hmm. was beseeched many times, you know, please change. There's, we can freshen you up. And she was like, no, I want them to see what they've done. You've done some incredible reporting, and you also have Thanks. some other small details throughout the story that we didn't know before. Tell us about some of those. Um, I mean, it's, 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 it goes down to the sort of small details, like Cecil Stoughton, the photographer who took the famous picture of LBJ getting sworn in, him running off the plane with the film, literally the only proof of this event or, you know, in his hands, yeah. um, to the fact that Johnson was the only one eating, to the fact that Jackie had her first scotch. And who did the president talk to by phone on the plane? All sorts of people. He was in constant contact with the ground, setting up meetings. It was very important to him, again, bipartisan. He was setting up meetings with the cabinet with members of the Senate. Um, Bob Carr was writing about this too, and this was yeah. an incredible time for him to show that the country was in firm hands. Exactly, but there was this two hour period when this plane is in the air. Right. That nobody knows. Nobody knows yeah. what's going on. There's two worlds, and it wasn't until the plane lands that Johnson is the president. Tense yeah. conversation though between Bobby Kennedy and LBJ, because the two of them never seem to have gotten along very well. I love that. Ex I love that part of the, your article. This is one of the subjects of debate, and I can't answer this question. But Johnson does call Bobby, ask him, you know, after some brief condolences, ask him about the swearing in. Where do I get sworn in? What's the oath? Yeah. And Bobby Kennedy, I think, is like, why are you asking me mm -hmm. this? I'm kind of having a moment here. Mm -hmm. um, and it's the debate is whether Johnson was doing it on purpose or whether it was just the chaos of the day. Mm -hmm. He's calling his attorney general. And there's a, isn't there a call to the president's mother? There's a call to Rose Kennedy, yeah, that's very sort of dramatic because Johnson doesn't know what to say. Rose clearly wants to get off the phone. Um, there's another phone call where Johnson and Lady Bird call Nellie Connolly mm -hmm. because when they left Dallas, they still didn't know Governor Connolly's condition, really. Mm -hmm. I remember many stories from Jack Valenti, who was there yeah, in that picture, who died in the past couple of years. Chris Jones, an incredible piece. Thank, Thank you. you so much. No, thanks for having me.